Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! We made it! It is officially 2023. How do you feel? How is it writing the year? Have you fumbled? Have you messed up? I did pretty good okay typing at work today, but we'll see how it is once I actually have to start writing it. I probably will make a mistake for the mistake for a while, but here we are. It's 2023. I hope you guys are having a wonderful one so far. Um, I thought that I would jump on the vlogging bandwagon for the read in the new year readathon as much as I can. Um, it's going to be a pretty busy week, but we'll, we'll get it going. I think this will help me stay accountable to actually read this week. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I didn't film anything or vlog anything on the actual first. Sundays are my do nothing day. I came home after church, ate lunch with my sister, and then took a nap. And that is how I spent my day. <laughs> but today is officially the second. I got home from work and I am going to pick up my room a little bit. And then I am going to jump into one of my books. I haven't decided which one yet. I think... I'm going to do the cowgirl sacrifice though because I'm already halfway through it and I think that if I start off strong by either getting really close to finishing a book or actually finishing the book that'll help and we'll knock out two prompts at the same time both under 250 pages and a book in a series so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do and come along for the ride happy new year let's bring it in with some good books just finished a cowgirl sacrifice or the cowgirl sacrifice by tina radcliffe uh i rated it a three out of five star it was fine uh there are some things that i didn't really care for about it and i think that might have been why i put it down the first time um something about the pacing just felt really weird some things about the romance that just felt off I don't know. I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. Um, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't my most favorite by Tina or in the series, which is kind of sad. But I finished it. Hey guys, happy Wednesday! <laughs> I am about to head out. I just got back from work, um, but I'm about to go spend some more money. Maybe get some Dunkin' because I have a coupon and we love a good coupon. So, anyway, I just wanted to pop on and say hello. I'm going to sit you down for a minute. Hi. Man, I have to. Got to put clothes away. Um, but I wanted to get on because I got something fun in the mail. I'm super excited. I got shelves. So, y'all know that I have a ton of books and I am like completely out of room and my books surround me in my room like I have shelves on this wall I have shelves on my wall by my bed I got a new bookshelf for Christmas that's on my nightstand three bookshelves in here I have bookshelves all over the house but the bookshelves even in here are at their limit so I got some more of like floating shelves to put because I have some space on my wall over there so it's literally honestly I probably could have made this cheaper but I don't work with wood don't know how um, so I just bought them instead <laughs> but it's like little pieces of super cheap wood um, and some brackets and stuff so I'm gonna put these on my walls just enough to hold a couple books and there's five of these so I'm excited um, I'm gonna see if my dad will help me put them up either tonight or tomorrow sometime and then I also got in here this one's packaged up nicer than the other ones um, but it's 
there's four shelves in here and they range from like small to large I got those to put all of my mugs on um, or as much as as many as I can so I'm hoping that he can help me put those up too so yes I was showing these to you because one it's bookish got some more shelving type stuff but I wanted to know if you guys want to see like a reorganization type video or like organize those shelves with me and kind of decide what I want to put there um, I would love to know so let me know in the comments below if that's a video you guys want to see and I can work on getting that filmed and done I think it would be a lot of fun so I like watching those kinds of things um, and I feel like it would be a little different from the normal videos that I have so let me know in the comments below So I am out and about. I've hit Joann's. I've hit a thrift store. I've hit Second and Charles. Got a few things. Spent more money than I really necessarily needed to. But that always happens when I leave my house. So we're not surprised. Um, but yeah. I'm trying to decide if I really want to or need to go anywhere else. The answer is probably no to need to. Um, but it's been a while since I've been out this way. And I just, I don't know. I don't really need to. So I think what I'm going to do is head home. I never stopped to get food. I got coffee and a donut instead. And I've been kind of sipping on that. But I can tell I haven't had real food at all yet today. When I get busy, I kind of forget to eat. It's not healthy. Don't do that. Don't do that. But I did that. I do that. It's a problem. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to head home. We have some food at the house. I'm going to be responsible. Um, and then I'll show you what I got. So I will see you when I get home. All right, friends, I am home. Food is about to be acquired. I'm so hungry, but I'm super excited because I am going to be having I think probably the rest of the sour cream chicken enchilada things that my mom made from Joanna Gaines cookbook, Magnolia Table. They're very good. Um, but yeah, that's the responsible thing to do. And also I spent so much money today, so it's probably a good idea not to spend more on food out and about. But I thought I would show you a couple of the things that I got today. Not everything, because honestly, quite a few, <laughs> quite a bit of it is gifts, um, and then some of it just whatever. But there are a couple things that I wanted to show you. I got this little wicker baskety thing. Thinking of potentially switching over my bookmarks, like going through them, and then using this as my new bookmark holder so we'll see we'll mess around with it um but the big thing that I wanted to show you uh was this um, where's the best place to put you uh, we're gonna we're gonna be down here and that's okay I guess I'll just here we go thing that I got I'm super excited I got a storage cart I've loved the idea of having one of these, but I never have really had the room and really a lot of people use this as like a TBR cart and my TBR is next to my bed. Um, but Joanne had their storage stuff on sale. So I got it because also it's green <laughs> and green is my absolute favorite color. And I love this shade of green. I'm really hoping that when I open it that the shade of green matches. That's pretty much um, the gist of what I'm going to show you. Why am I so stinking close? Hello. Uh, the gist of what I'll show you from what I got. But today was pretty productive. I enjoyed just being out and about for a few hours on my own. Listening to music and just kind of taking my time. It's fun to do from time to time. Happy Thursday, friends. I wanted to pop on real fast before I head out to work. Um, it has been a crazy week. Uh, not much reading has been done. I've finished one book so far, but that's okay. I have tomorrow off work, and while I have some things to do around the house, we're having some company over tomorrow night, so getting dinner ready and cleaning and stuff. 
I will be able to read for some of the day, so that's really exciting. But <clears throat> when I get home from work this evening, my dad will be helping me put up the shelves on this wall over here. And then after that's done, I'll probably start tacos for two. That's what's kind of been calling me next. So my goal is to at least get a few chapters read tonight. Um, and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. But happy Thursday, friends. Uh, welcome back. I've already said hi for Thursday, I'm pretty sure. But it is many, many hours later. And we officially got the shelves up in my room. We only did three just because of space. Um, but they sent five. But yeah, so we have the three shelves here. Don't know what I'm going to put on it yet. And then... Forgive the mess that is on top, but I got the book cart set up. I'm not sure if this is where it's going to stay, but this is where it is at for now. So, yeah, more book storage officially. So excited now just to figure out what to put on said storage. And then the other thing that I got shelves for was for my mug collection, or part of it anyways. This is not all of it. I could have put all of it on here. Um... But yeah, I finally got some shelves so I can have my mugs out of my room. Hello, happy Friday. Um, it is about 12.30. I just read for a bit. I read for an hour. Um, I think that's what I'm going to kind of do today because I have a lot of things to do and get done before we have company over this evening. So I think I'm going to kind of break up reading over the day. Um, I am reading Tacos for Two and I'm enjoying it, but it just seems kind of slow. Like there's a lot of buildup and there's a lot of things happening with the characters. So the two main characters are talking to each other on a anonymous dating app through text which is a lot of fun but they also know each other in real life and they're not really friends they're actually now competition in real life but there's just kind of like some miscommunication between their in real life situation that if they just had a conversation and talked about some stuff it would be a little more smooth and I hate miscommunication that is my least favorite trope idea thing that authors do I, I hate it so much um, especially when it's something as simple as her explaining why she is upset so yeah which is making it feel like it's taking a little longer to get through the story anyway so I'm like 130 pages into it right now I'm still enjoying it, um, but I'm definitely going to take a break, go eat lunch. My mom made chicken and dumplings last night, and it was so good. So I'm going to have a bowl of that. Probably watch Amanda's new video where her husband picks some books for her to read this year. And I'm so stinking excited to watch it. They are so much fun. Um, and then get some cleaning done around the house, and then pick up the book again for maybe another like 30 minutes to an hour. All right, friends, it is a few hours later. I am getting ready to go and um, start cooking the chicken and roasting the potatoes for dinner and such. Um, but I read for a little while longer. I'm on page 175. Hmm. I'm still unsure how I feel. Um, it seems so cute, like a competition in food trucks and all the things, but it also just feels really long. Um, like, it's almost a 400 page book and like it's a romance. <laughs> Why does it need to be so long? I don't understand. Like there's still like the third act conflict that is probably gonna happen and I just, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I don't know I don't know so I'm gonna keep trucking through and try to get some more done this evening possibly potentially maybe not we'll see um but I did get some read today and that was a goal of mine so goal achieved happy happy 
All right, guys, I'm gonna do my last check-in for Friday. It is uh, close to 11, I think. We just got finished cleaning up from dinner and having company over, it was a lot of fun. I tried a new recipe, it was pretty good. I tweaked it quite a bit though, so I don't know if like following a recipe is really what I did. I took a recipe as a base and then I ran with it and did what I wanted, but it turned out pretty good. It was tasty. Um, but I'm pretty proud of the progress that I made today. I wasn't sure how much reading I really was going to be able to get done with how much cleaning I had to do around the house, but I was able to get a good chunk done. Happy with it. I feel like the day just kind of got away from me and I really wasn't able to get as much stuff done as I wanted to. I wanted to start editing this vlog. Haven't done that yet. Have no clue how much footage I have. Uh, but we'll find out when I post it. Um, but tomorrow is a whole day, whole new day. I do have to work for a little bit tomorrow morning. And I have a few errands to run. But not that many and I'm hoping it doesn't take that long. But when I come home, I will be reading and I'm super excited. I can't decide if I'm going to finish Chocolates for Two um, or pick up a different book because, let me pull it up. Uh, I've been thinking about this book and I've been wanting to read it. And I can totally use this time as time to do it. But it is called Passion or Penalty by Leah Bruner and it is a hockey romance and it's a novella which I'm all about a quick read um, but it's based around hockey which is ice which in its liquid format is say it with me H2O agua water so that would technically work for the water prompt so I might do that we shall see what I'm feeling tomorrow but I think I might potentially be feeling that romance. <laughs> it's been on my mind all week. Um, so I might just read it because I want to. But we shall see. But that's that. I am rambling. That is my check-in for Friday night. Happy Saturday and happy official last day of the read in the New Year Readathon. We have made it. How many books did you get done? <laughs> I got one done officially that I was halfway through. And I got a little further into another one but I have decided to pick up Passion or Penalty by Leah Bruner. Um, it is the ice skating hockey uh, novella which I'm going to use for my water and at least get that done today. I'm super excited. I've been wanting to read it so um, yeah I'm really pumped. So I am going to go ahead and jump into this and yeah, we'll see what kind of goes from there. I already worked for a few hours today, came home, turned around and took the dog and got his nails trimmed. That was long overdue, so I took him out. Then we got home again, and I have been just kind of doing nothing on my phone, so I decided, hey, let's read. So that's what we're going to do. Let's read. Alright guys, I just finished Passion or Penalty by Leah Burner and it was so cute, oh my goodness. <sighs> it's starting a new series that she's going to be writing in 23 and I'm so excited about it. I absolutely love, loved the Under the Kansas Sky series that she wrote um, about the Wendell family and this actually ties in so the series will be written in the same universe which I love. Um, so this story is about Melanie, who is Madden Wendell's assistant in D.C. now that he is a congressman. Um, so we get to see Madden and Odette a little bit in this story, and I loved it. Um, but yeah, so it's Melanie and her brother's best friend who she grew up with so she was really good friends with when she's young with um but they were childhood best friends 
and they've been in love with each other for years but of course because it's brother's best friend there was that pact that was made so he couldn't do anything about it but they both still loved each other and it was a novella so it was quick it was short but he's a professional hockey player and he gets signed in dc so he's back in town and they get together it's this whole it was so good um yeah but that i'm counting as my water towards my water theme um because she had an accident when she was younger that dealt with a frozen lake falling through a frozen lake when she was ice skating so water was heavily involved and then ice it's just frozen water so that is that so yeah um i can't decide what i want to do next maybe i will hmm Maybe I'll pick up tacos for two a little later tonight. We shall see. Um, but it was great. It was a romance. I'm on like this contemporary romance kick. I'm loving it. Loving it! So maybe I might pick up tacos for two and keep pressing through because I'm not, I'm not loving that one as much. Um, but I'm glad that I took a break from that and read Passion or Penalty because it was so cute so okay that's my check-in i will see you guys in a bit once i decide what i'm doing It's a little after 10.45 on Saturday, and we made it through the week, guys. We did awesome. Woohoo! Regardless of if you finished a book this week, if you did seven, if you did one, if you even just read a couple pages, congratulations. You started off the year by reading, and that is important. Uh, Holly, Oshina, you guys did amazing as always. I was so glad that I was able to participate this year. I didn't read as many books as I set out to, but I kind of figured that would be the case. It was a very hectic week on my part. Um, I had a lot of things to do, so wasn't <laughs> super hard on myself, but I'm proud of the reading that I did get done. Um, I finished A Cowgirl Sacrifice, Passion or Penalty, and I got some good reading done in tacos for two so I'm proud of the reading that I did this week um, I ended off the night instead of reading <laughs> my brother and I watched Top Gun for the first time together and then we watched Top Gun Maverick as well so we've been wanting to watch them together for a while we've been waiting till we could watch them both at the same time um, and tonight finally we had some time so we decided to do it and I'm glad that we watched them. We got some brother-sister time. Typically Sundays are our movie nights after um, after church and everything. But our cousin's baby dedication is tomorrow. So we will be going straight to the city after church tomorrow for that. So we had some good bonding time watching those movies this evening. And it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah that's that i think i'm gonna go ahead and call it i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i enjoyed doing it i hope to do more in the future um so yeah that's kind of it <laughs> oh, i am tired <laughs> but i hope you guys had a wonderful week let me know in the comments below what you read this week what you're planning on reading did you hit your goals do you have any goals for 2023 i personally didn't give myself very strict goals um I just, with, this will be my first year at a new job, like new year at a new job, so I'm not putting a ton of pressure on myself with my reading goals. I'm just going to read for fun this year while also knocking out some of my review books, and I'm just, I'm going to have a fun year, so I'm excited about it, but I would love to hear your goals in the comments below. Let me know. Let's chat. All right.
<laughs> Don't forget you can check out my blog at For the Love of Christian Fiction. Blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction, and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!